Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. The Council of Representatives Speaker Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the 19th anniversary of the establishment of the Supreme Council for Women on the 22nd of August in 2001. She described the inception of the milestone as a defining moment in supporting efforts aimed at engaging women's participation in national public life. She prayed a tribute to Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty the King and Supreme Council of Women President, hailing her strenuous efforts to promote Bahraini women's status from the phase of empowerment to the phase of progress. She praised the Council's innovative initiatives, viable strategies and plans based on equal partnership to build a competitive and sustainable society, achieve family stability and enhance women's role in national development on the basis of equal opportunities. She commended the government's efforts, chaired by His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, paying tribute to His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister for his support. She affirmed the keenness of the Council of Representatives on supporting national plans and strategies to achieve greater development for women and consolidate their status. She hailed the directives of His Royal Highness, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa to maintain Bahraini family stability and support the efforts to combat the novel coronavirus COVID-19 by launching a string of initiatives aimed at providing economic support. And the Shura Council Chairman Ali ibn Saleh has Saleh hailed the Supreme Council of Women's achievements which reflect the progress of Bahraini women in various fields and bolstered their pivotal role in building society and spearheading its development. He described the establishment of the Council as one of the fruits of the pioneering reform project initiated by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to promote women's rights and engage them in national development. He extended deepest congratulations to Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty the King and the Supreme Council of Women President, wishing her continued success to achieve Bahraini women aspirations. He praised the role of Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa in leading the Council and advocating key issues related to Bahraini women to promote their economic, social, medical and education development. He described the Council as the main supporter of the legislative and executive branches of the government in promoting women's rights and drawing up national strategies which contributed to bolstering their constitutional and legal rights. The Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh Saleh gave a presentation at the Inter-Parliamentary Union Conference on the Kingdom's efforts to fight money laundering and financing terrorism. The conference discussed key themes including democracy, the changing roles of parliaments in the new century, and related issues such as sustainable economic development, welfare, social justice, and terrorism. During the session, um, Chairman Zainal also affirmed these issues require the support and cooperation of the world's legislative authorities upon which their respective governments can preserve and build upon their country's developments. The heads of the representative and Shura councils affirmed that the legislative authority in Bahrain will continue to work with their counterparts in friendly countries and reinforce cooperation on common issues. They also affirmed the importance of dealing with the effects of the pandemic on the world at large. The conference concluded by ratifying the declaration of the parliamentary leadership whereby tackling the global effects of the pandemic on the health and financial sectors and have been affirmed along with the importance of international cooperation on a variety of issues including climate change, ending poverty and achieving world peace. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 3,496 with 350 recoveries and 353 registered new cases. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirm the importance of following instructions, such as washing one's hands on a regular basis, along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact, and covering the nose and mouth when sneezing. <laughs> 